Hi everyone. As you know, AMD has presented quite some information over at CES 2018 and the one that got my interest, as you would have guessed, would be for the Ryzen processor. Yes, we are looking at the second generation Ryzen processor. And now, um, AMD did send me the presentation slides and I've um, gone through it and I'm going to read it through my notebook over here, of which I'm actually reflected. How is it? I've, I'll put it to the screen over here, which is my beloved AOC 40 inch 4K monitor. And um, we'll go through the slides that I've selected. Um, we are not going through, through all the 30 over slides, so I've already selected a few here. And let's begin. First thing first, um, AMD presented um, the price update, of which you see that um, many of them have um, some price reduction. And of the price list, you see that there's the Ryzen 5 2400G and the Ryzen 3 2200G. Those are the models that interest me. Those are the new ones. They're coming. They're um, priced uh, quite competitively at, um, based on this one, it's $169 for the 2400G and $99 for the 2200G. Going by the price, um, I can't give an estimated price over in Malaysia but I, I'd say it's safe to times multiplied by 5 so I'm expecting the 2200G may be around 500 while the 2400G may be around five, uh, blah, 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 a little about 900 I guess because it's, um, it's around the Ryzen 5 1500X range now next we see the improvements over for the 2000 series yes the new generation of Ryzen which is the second generation, is based on the Zen Plus uh, core, it's not Zen 2 yet. And these are the um, improvements, which is uh, pure power, which smart sensors work in concert to optimize power consumption, Precision Boost 2, XFR 2, Neural Net Prediction, Smart Prefetch. Now all these are beyond me, we'll just have to uh, wait for AMD to present further on what are these kind of things. Now this is the roadmap. As you can see, 2018 will have a range of new Ryzen 3, 5, 7. And the beautiful part about the 3 and the 5 is that they are coming up with the model with Radeon graphics. Those are the APU models. And that will be the new 400 series chipset motherboard. Now based on this slide, you see that the new Ryzen will still be using the same process uh, as a socket and it actually targets two different markets. One is the well, two markets, one for people who buy just the processor with, with a discrete GPU, while the other one is for those with the onboard. Next slide. Uh, two teraflops computing power, full info compatibility, blah, blah, blah. Now, the performance of the 2000G series. It's, um, if you look at it, the performance based on this testing seems promising. Um, let's look at uh, this uh, Cinebench performance over here, which is Cinebench R15. You will see that the 2400G performs pretty much like the Ryzen 5 1400, while the 2200G performs. Um, wait, I'm looking at it wrongly, sorry. It performs like the 1500X. I'm uh, just uh, looking at it's a price that's um, around the 1400 but the performance is said to be around the 1500x while the 2200G is priced lower than the 1200 but performance is well, higher next up the GPU performance of the 2400G compared to the Core i5-8400 I don't know where does this stand because uh, there's no details on the settings and such. Maybe it's, it's, it's in the end of the, the document of which I didn't see. But never mind. I do not have the benchmarks for these games anyway. So I reckon it's going to be around GTX 1050 perhaps. Or something like the RX 560 or 550. Hmm. And what's neat about this is that it's unlocked. So. Uh, these desktop processors, um, they are not. These desktop processors are 
as you can see from this the graph over here is that it um, there's performance gain over 3D mark when you pair it with higher speed memory. Pretty neat. Um, if there's going to be a 40% increment in the performance with just a better RAM and some overclocking, I think it's great. Now here's the thing. For the new uh, processors, AMD has this slide that says look out for the sticker that says AMD Ryzen Desktop 2000 ready for drop-in compatibility. This means that whatever board you have now, it may not be compatible just yet meaning you probably have to flash the BIOS, the firmware because it's just like the Ryzen 7 um, um, the current generation boards which is like the X370 and all it started with the Ryzen 7 support but you need to flash the firmware for it to support the Ryzen 5 and 3 when they launch later same, I would say this, all your whatever boards that you are using you will need to flash it but for the new boards they will have the drop-in compatibility and perhaps even the older boards if they are produced and have the latest uh, firmware no doubt the, um, the, uh, the, the second generation Ryzen will work just fine and this is the last slide we have a new cooler from AMD uh, check out my Wraith uh, solution uh, review video if you are free and um, this one RGB. I'm, I'm not a fan of RGB, but yeah, it, it could look quite nice here. Um, direct contact rainbow RGB ring illuminated fan blades. Illuminated fan blades. Okay. Um, I don't know what to say about it. it um, illuminated fan blades. Um, some of them look nice. Some don't. Um, like the the ones from Cooler Master when the, it lights up, it looks really nice. Some are those uh, cheap transparent types they look ugly um, we'll just have to see what AMD has for us so alright that's it from me with this uh, summarized view of the Ryzen upcoming processor which is the Ryzen uh, second generation with the Zen Plus but this is not the full presentation yet as you can see that we are looking at just Ryzen 3 2200G and the Ryzen 5 2400G no details on the Ryzen 7 yet and the Ryzen 7 if you look at this chart you will see that it is a model that does not come with this uh, Radeon Vega graphics alright so that's it for my uh, summary of um, this uh, the selected slides of which um, did the AMD send me of which um, it's about the Ryzen upcoming Ryzen processor mm. What do you think? For me, I'm actually very looking forward to these uh, processors. Um, I like the Ryzen, Ryzen 3 1200. You guys, if you follow my Instagram and my Facebook, you'll see that how much I like this Ryzen 3 1200. So with this one, the 2200G, it's, um, as you can see, it's uh, priced very well. It's, uh, let me go back to the, that slide about pricing. It's uh, priced lower than the 1200 and it uh, supposedly performs better and I can't wait to get my hands on it and overclock it um, Ryzen 5 too, I mean the 2400G if the performance is going to be around the 1500X that's pretty neat alright so that's it for this video do leave your comments down um, in this video or if you're looking at it, um, browsing this if you're seeing this on Facebook leave your comments there as well I look forward to hear from you let's have some discussion on what do you expect to see from AMD's new offerings? Alright, and then end this video now. I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.